Welcome to the Individual Rights and Responsibilities dated and revised March 2017. It is the responsibility of Sycamore Services to have a statement of rights to preserve the rights, dignity, and safety of the individuals served. The first right, you can be informed in writing before you enter the program and every year thereafter. If you are unable to read a document, the document can be interpreted for you as well as an alternative picture version. To be active, you can be active and participate in the programs that you choose, which will be included in your individual service plan. You can participate in planning that document. You can be notified prior to the transfer of other program within Sycamore Services. You can refuse treatment and services and you should be informed of all risks of treatment and services. You can be encouraged and assisted to exercise your rights as any citizen. You should be free from discrimination, meaning you should be able to participate no matter your age, race, religion, gender, or disability. You should be able to see a doctor regularly at your own expense. You should be free from abuse, neglect, or exploitation. You should not receive chemical restrictions or behavioral procedures including physical, medical, or chemical restraints or seclusion. Your team will review your informed consent, which helps the team understand the things you need help with. You are ensured confidential treatment. All of your information is kept confidential. You should be treated with respect and dignity and being an individual in our program. You also can communicate and meet with anyone you choose. You can open your own mail, answer your own phone calls, participate in activities you choose. You can participate in activities of any social, religious, or community activities you choose. You should achieve full community inclusion with everything you do. You should be able to use your own personal possessions, including clothing. You have the right to quit services if you choose, but if you have a legal guardian, they have to make that decision. You should speak for yourself. That means being an advocate for yourself to protect your own well-being and interest.
You have the right to contact an attorney privately, but that is at your own expense. You should not participate in research or bad treatment, and you could withdraw our services at any time. You should not be required or asked to do any job for any of the staff or anyone from the agency, such as yard work, helping with certain chores. You are entitled to annual assessments as well as a review of your informed consent so you can make us aware of anything you might need assistance with. You have the right for personal privacy and to manage your own funds. Of course we will help if needed or if a payee is necessary Your responsibility is to participate in the planning of your service, to choose the provider you want, to work to achieve your goals and objectives, to keep all your appointments, to inform your team member, your team, about changes that you wish to have in your plan and to advocate for yourself or ask someone to help you advocate for yourself.